Bono Isaac Perry, yeah. And how old are you? I am six years old. Just six years old. What school do you go to? I am a gifted and talented student at PS7. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Okay, so what's your most favorite subjects? Um, math, physics, chemistry, and computer science. What do you like to do at your free time? Uh, I am working on two projects, mm. creating a humanoid robot called Nazru, and, <clears throat> and I am also writing a book titled The Love. Wow. So what are your, among these four, which is your most favorite topic? Math. Mathematics is your most favorite topic. Yes. So, uh, do you know do you know calculus? Yes. Can you solve a problem for cal on calculus for me? Yes. Right. Okay. So let me. So yesterday, I went up to my bike, on out on a bike trip from my home to Bronx Community College, right? Which is about an hour, one and a half hours long, twenty miles of the trip. In Bronx Community College campus, I saw a speed limit sign which says 25 MPH. Did the public safety officers pull me over? In other words, did I break the law? Can you draw your diagram for me? I'm bad at drawing bikes, so I'll just draw a skateboard. Okay. Initial is zero, T initial is zero. Mm -hmm. All the way to the finish line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, D final is is missing, so left. <coughs> and T final is three over two. Let's go back. So, this is where you saw the the limit sign, mm -hmm. 20, 25. 25 MPH, mm -hmm. that means 25 miles per hour. Right. I'm listening. Yes. I took a taxi that had to go 25 miles per hour as a maximum mm -hmm. to get here. Yes. D2, you said it was it, it's 20, it, miles. 20 miles of the trip, right. but, but uh, we don't know how much time you took, uh, took to get there. Uh, there. That was also where the public safety was. Right. And, and D1, D1, D1 is missing and T1 is is one. Show me the graph. Okay. So <clears throat> this is also very important for the problem. Mm -hmm. That's a point five one one point five. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have this graph, then this wouldn't even be a calculus problem. It would just be messed up. Okay. So, this is 10, 20, and up here is 30. So, this is how many, how many miles you've got in the trip, and, and, and <coughs> how many, and uh, X is how many hours, hours it took it to take me, yeah. I have to drive parabola. Okay. And on top of it, I'll write your position function. Mm -hmm. So, let's do it with all the diagrams. Mm -hmm. so, so, this is defined. So, so P of T equals the 40 over T squared. Mm -hmm. First of all, you got to find all of the unknowns. Okay. You'll only give me one hour to solve all of the problems. No, nah, I'm only giving you 10 minutes because you're a genius and you're, you're in the talented class. So, but find all no. of the unknowns for me. <coughs> How? No. 
how many, how much time do you give me for the whole meeting? Ten minutes. What? Yeah. No, but seriously, find out all of your knowns for me. Yeah. If you find out all of your knowns, then can you also find the velocity? So please. Be careful now. Don't rub your shirt with it. If you seriously don't know how P of T became 20, look mm -hmm. at the diagram. Okay, so what did you find out from the diagram? Oh. Okay. Cancel, cancel, cancel. What are you going to 42 times? <clears throat> wow, so it's 1.22? Yes. Wow. Close to what? So so you so the unknowns is 1.22, right? No, no, there's one more unknown. There's one more unknown. Which is the unknown? The other unknown. Can you still be careful? Can you solve it for me? I guess I'll need more space for this, even though it's easy. Okay. So, <clears throat> oh wait, I forgot to write D1. Mm -hmm. So, P of T equals to... 40 over 3t squared. Mm -hmm. And I could figure out that the time is, is 1. Right. So, so P of 1 is 40 over 3 one, uh, times 1. So that's... Um... 40 over 3. And <coughs> I think I know what 40 over 3 is. What is it? 13.3. Three, three, and also since the three repeats forever, I'll put that hat thing. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So, so. So we know the two unknown now, right? Yes. So thirteen point. Three. Now we have to make a line for the average velocity. Mm -hmm. So one point five up here. Eyeball and dirty. Also, he take a sneak peek over here. Oh, oh wait, the point is actually here. So find the velocity, average velocity for me. We have to make a line consisting of these two points. For now, we have to find the, the average v. velocity. Mm -hmm. So, so v average is is d final minus d initial or t final minus t initial. So what is d final? So, so d final. Look, look at at the end of the diagram. Mm -hmm. Three thirty. Okay. So dirty minus. What is D one? No, it's D in this So and it's zero. Over T in this is also zero. Right. And you can see T final at at the uh, end of the graph. Your teacher, you're older than me. Uh, no, no, it doesn't matter. Age has nothing to do with who somebody's teaching. 
Okay. So it's three, uh, three over two. Minus zero, minus zero. So mm -hmm. that's thirty. We have to flip this amount, mm -hmm. like a, <clears throat> like a dolphin, times two over three. So, so three so goes that's to thirty. Ten. Ten. Ten times two is twenty. Yes. Mm -hmm. So your average velocity is twenty. Great job. Now, so we seem now find the average velocity. Does it mean that I broke the law? Well, I, I'm not finished with the problem yet. Okay. He, your, he, your velocity is even, and your main velocity is even more than your average. Yeah, but what, what was the speed limit there? 25 miles per hour? Mm. Yeah, you remember. So, yeah. 20 is smaller than 25. Five, right. Did you learn, did you learn that? And and also and also, but I don't care about your average velocity. I care about your velocity near the speed limit sign. So that does that that does not mean you didn't break the law. Yeah, but but if if it, I, I don't want it to be rubbing, yeah. No, but if the average velocity is well twenty and the speed limit is twenty five, so what does that tell me? That. That tells you that your average velocity is smaller than the velocity on the thing. So did I break the law? I'm not done. I'm ah, okay. Not done. <laughs> okay, but you're making me nervous. We, if my average velocity is less than the speed limit sign, so so what what's, what's going on? So one point two two is. Here, 13.33 is kind of over here, mm -hmm. and, and D2, 20, is right here. So? So, 1.22 and 13.33. Let's eyeball it like, like, like right here. Mm-hmm. Eyeball. So, now we have to make a line connecting these two points to it. Blue. Yeah. Blue. 20? Mm-hmm. 20 minus... We, we on on this platform we'll just write thirteen point three three. Okay. So D one is minus thirteen point three. Thirteen point three three. Right. Mm -hmm. Squiggly uh squiggly. Then what is T one? T two. Hmm. I gotta show you over here. Right, so it's 1.22. Yes, so 1.22 minus D T1. Oh, T1. Which is zero, I think, right? Or oh, one. Okay. 1.22 minus one. <laughs> 20 minus 13 is seven. You right, believe. right. But well, since but since it's, it's going to be six point <coughs> yes point six seven yeah six point six seven yeah no, <coughs> so six point six seven over what is this number point two point two two so so that's thirty is it thirty mm. wow not yet okay see I'm an impatient man today. So if, the, if so the velocity is 30 and the speed limit is 25, so what is going on here? It's a little bit bigger, not yet, not yet. But it's bigger, but it's but it's higher than the speed limit, isn't it? Yes. So what was so it's a little? Your, your main velocity is a little bigger. 
Okay, so so. We'll have to solve calculus to do that. P, P of P prime of t equals to limit as delta t goes to zero. <clears throat> you might remember this from y mm. equals to x squared. A way back, twenty years ago, I remember. Yeah, twenty years ago. Yes. <laughs> That's not even when my brother was born. No, that's just how old I am. P of prime of t equals to limit as delta t goes to zero. T plus delta t he's whole squared minus. Can you say what p of t is? Tell me. So you're my teacher, you gotta tell me. Oh. So you wanna plug plug it in there? Yes. in the parentheses. Wow. Well, how did you know this? My daddy teaches me this. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Yes, my dad is a professor at this college. Wow. You're going to be a professor someday? Or you want to be a research scientist? You want to be an engineer? Uh, I want to be a scientist. Yeah, in what in what area? Biology, chemistry, physics, math. Mm. Or Wait, scientists. Or <laughs> astrophysics, because you know all of the calculus. You want to do astro astrophysics? You, I mean, you see the guy. Astrophysics. Yeah, you see the guy that is there, uh, Hawking. <laughs> so. You're like you have no patience. <laughs> Do you watch TV like all the other kids, or you're basically solving problems? You watch TV? I don't have a TV at my home. You don't have a TV? No. Nope. So, so how do you relax? Solving problems? <laughs> it's good for you. So I solve random math problems to relax myself. You solve random math problems to relax yourself? Yeah, you, sometimes. You're way above the other kids in your school. Let's, let's go to physics. Let this, let's go to physics. Uh, okay. You have energy? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, you said you're writing a book titled Love, right? Tell me about the book. Tell me about it. <clears throat> the love is based on two movies. I love Christmas and I'm Muslim and I love America. Mm -hmm. Let's do this quickly. I know you have a meeting. Sure, you, you tell, me, tell me. So tell me about the story. <clears throat> so Muslim and I love America is is uh, is a Muslim child struggle to create a world without terrorism. Right. Are, are you a Muslim? Yeah, I think. But you also Hindu. I think my dad made a made a mistake here. I'm not a Hindu. I'm a Muslim. So why did you decide to write this book? Who is a Muslim child? Uh, me. You. Why did you decide to write this book at an early age? I had no plan, but one day I went to pray, pray at a mosque, and mm -hmm. and I asked, <coughs> asked the, <coughs> what does a mom mean? He won't understand that word. He will understand. Yeah. Imam. Yeah. I know what imam is. Imam is the person that leads the prayers. Holy <laughs> ah. See, my mother is a Muslim, so I understand. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I asked the imam to pray for a miracle, but. 
But the, the, because it was the 4th of July, but the imam refused to do so. <clears throat> Why? Mm, long story, long story. And I what? asked the imam to pray for America. She would. Excuse me, imam, tomorrow is 4th of July. Can you pray for America, please? See, we, I mean, we can all pray for America and pray for ourselves because this is the country in which we live now. So, if some, yeah, somebody say, yeah, do, do you love Christmas? Uh, what about I love Christmas? Mm. When I I was two years old, I uh, I lost my periodic table. Do you know? So, you tell me, do you know what a periodic table is? <laughs> what is a periodic table? It, it has one hundred and eighteen elements in total, and it's about chemistry. Right. Uh, 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 how is the periodic table arranged? See, I mean, see, my undergraduate degree is in chemistry with a minor. Uh, my undergraduate is with a major in biology, minor in chemistry. So I know something about the periodic table. How are the elements arranged in the periodic table? It's kind of like this shape. I'm, I'm these shapes I'm drawing right now. Right. So, it, it so, like so, so who, which is the first element on the periodic table? I still remember that hydrogen, yeah. And see, it's based on the nuclear the uh, density of the t of the elements yeah. on the table, right? You remember that. And which is the last element on the okay. table? Wait, it was like oct oct. Something. I don't even remember. <laughs> but, but, but I gotta commend you because most six years old. Octillion! Octillion. Most six years old don't even know what the periodic table is. Even there are kids in high school that have no clue what the periodic table is. So they tell me about uh, I love Christmas. Oh, wait, it would not. Octillion. An oct octillion is a number. Where is uranium on the table? Uranium. Huh, huh. Remember, it's heavy. Yeah. I think it was like right here. Uranium, Neptunium, mm -hmm. Plutonium, Plutonium, Americium, <clears throat> Curium. There's obviously more elements. But you've done a great job because there are six years old that have no clue what the periodic table is for him to even know the table. You've Most six years old have no clue what a periodic table is. Yes, that's true. Yes. Yes. Even there are four, there are fifty years old people that don't even know what a periodic yeah. table is. So, what is the main philosophy of the love? What's the main philosophy? I, I, as a Muslim, I love Islam, but I also love Hinduism, Buddhism, Buddhism, and Christianity. Mm. I love to celebrate Eid, but I also love to celebrate Durga Puja, Matu Purnama, Rosh Hashanah, and Christmas. Let's at least love to create a world without Kira Rhythm. I love that philosophy. I do. But, but, but your name, when, uh, in fact, what confused me when I first read you, your name is uh, Saboro Isaac. Isaac is a Christian name. Sam is Christian. Isaac is a Christian name. Oh, great! Right, my, right. my name will change my name to Tristan. My, my, uh, my actual name was, was Patrick when I was about two years old. Was Patrick? No, Pat. I wrote it on the whiteboard for you. Pat Patrick. Yes. Isaac, she had just almost to uh, uncle, some sort of problem and equation. It's a good thing.
তো আমি শুধু বিজ্ঞানের ছাত্র নই আমি বিজ্ঞানের ইতিহাসও পড়ি এবং কিছুটা গবেষণা করি আমি তার এই ছোট্ট শিশুটির সঙ্গে বাঙালি শিশুর সঙ্গে আরেকজনের আমার মনে হলো অঙ্গাঙ্গি জড়িত একটা সম্পর্ক আমি দেখতে পেলাম সেই মহাজ্ঞানী মহামানবের নাম হলো স্যার আইজাক নিউটন যাকে আমি সর্বকালের সর্বশ্রেষ্ঠ বিজ্ঞানী বলে মনে করি তিনিও এরকম বয়সেই জটিল অঙ্কের সমস্যার সমাধান করেছিলেন ঠিক এই বয়সে না আর একটু সাত আট বছর বয়সে এই ছোট আইজাক তো আরও ছোট তখন আমি তার বাবার কাছে বললাম যে তার নাম আপনি আইজাক রেখে দেন কারণ সে একদিন স্যার আইজাক নিউটনের মতো হবে বলে আমি বিশ্বাস করি এবং সে শুধু বাংলাদেশ নয় বিশ্বের বিজ্ঞানের ইতিহাসে অঙ্ক বিজ্ঞান ফিজিক্স সে একজন খুবই বড় বিজ্ঞানী হবে বলে আমি মনে করি তো অতঃপর উনি এই নামটা গ্রহণ করলেন এবং এই শিশুটির নাম মধ্যে আরও আছে সুবর্ণ সুবর্ণ আছে কোথায় আইজাক নাম দেওয়া হলো Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. But still we'll keep a bar quiet for us. Yes. Did he ask you good questions? Yes. What question uh-huh. did he ask? I want to know. I, I w- want to do a bike trip for one and a half hours. Uh-huh. And 20 miles of the trip, I saw a speed trip. Limit sign saying 25 MP8. Uh-huh. Did the public safe? Did the BCC public safety pull me over? <laughs> so now you know already calculus then? One? Yeah. Calculus one, you know already. So when are you taking calculus two? Uh, <laughs> why do you always teach me calculus one? Yeah, he should teach you calculus two. <laughs> A thing of beauty. is a joy forever its loveliness increases it will never pass into nothingness but still will keep a bar quiet for us and president seek and peace and that's why i'm sitting on this chair a thing of beauty is a joy forever its loveliness increases it will never pass into nothingness but still will keep a bar quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing therefore on every morrow are we reading a flowery band to bind us to the earth spite of despondence of the inhuman dearth of noble natures of the gloomy days of all the unhealthy and o'er darkened ways made for our searching yes in spite of all some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits such the sun the moon trees old and young sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep and such are daffodils the green world they live in and clear rills that for them